Hello, everyone, and welcome to Preschool Storytime at Hudson Public Library. My name is Mr. Zach, and I am so glad to have you all here with me today. All right, so I always like to start these out by just giving you my recommendations, so my uh, ideas for the best books that we've got in the library on the theme that is this theme this week. All right, so that was my very long way of saying that I've got some book ideas for you. All right, so this week's theme is magic. All right, so I think magic is a whole lot of fun and getting a little bit of wonder into our lives, especially lately when we're all kind of stuck at home. And now it's really nice that we've got spring coming up and we can get moving it outside a little bit more. So get your imaginations going. All right, so first book I've got has to do with finding magic in ordinary things. And so this one is What to Do with a Box. And that is by Jane Yolen and Chris Shiban or Shaban. Shaban? I don't know. One of those things. So this is all about if you... Um, what kids can do with just plain ordinary cardboard box. And what is a cardboard box? Well, it might look like just a box, but it could be a magical uh, kingdom. It could be a palace. It could be a rocket ship. It could be a nice place to sit and read. So this is a really fun book all about enjoying the magic of everyday things. Really great. All right, so. This next book is all about being yourself and finding the magic around you as well. So this one is Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love. And so Julian sees some women dressed up as, a, uh, as mermaids and decides that he wants to be just like them. So Julian decides to dress up as a mermaid and then his abuela or his grandmother um, ends up encouraging him with it. It's a really fun story. It's got a really cool style with it. Um, it is just really cool. It's all about using your imagination, seeing um, the magic around you and being creative. All right, so next up, We've got one all about the magic of the woods, and this is Little Fox in the Forest, and this is by Stephanie Gregan. And this one is all about um, a stuffed fox that gets lost on the playground. So a girl and her friend decide to go into the woods in search of that stuffed fox, but then when they find in the woods is a magical place. And this is one of two wordless uh, picture books that I have. And if you've watched some of these before, you might know that I think that wordless picture books are actually really, really great uh, to do for read alouds and for stories. It's a great way to ask what's happening in this picture. Uh, it's great for critical thinking skills. It's great for observations. And then um, it lets the uh, kid themselves tell the story. It's really nice, uh, especially when there's room for interpretation for ones that are kind of magical like this. So it's all about finding this forest uh, city and it's really cool. All right, so next up, I've got the other wordless picture book that I have here. Or actually, excuse me, I think I have three this time. <laughs> so this is the second of three wordless picture books. And this one is so fun. It's called Tuesday by David Weissner. And this one is, I shouldn't say it's wordless. It starts with one phrase in here. Tuesday evening around eight. And then after that, it's this fun uh, picture story. The illustrations are just absolutely fantastic. Oh, and then I forget there is one sentence at the end too. Um, but it's all about these frogs that just start flying through the city and it's so fun. Uh, lots of really cool pictures in it. Um, I think you'll get a kick out of it. All about 
uh, magical situation that just starts to happen. All right, so next up, I've got one that's actually a sequel to another book, but I thought it would be fun to just showcase this one too. Uh, this one is called Quest. And it is by Aaron Becker. It's a sequel to Journey. And this is basically starts out with seeing a magical door underneath a bridge. And then these children are transported to a magical kingdom. So this is another wordless storybook. Um, and it's got really cool illustrations in it. It's all about creativity and seeing the magic around you. Uh, if you also like adventure type books, this is a really cool one. It's got just really fantastic uh, illustrations in it, really magical kingdoms, all sorts of different places. Uh, if you like thinking about adventures of places you'd like to go, this is a really cool one. All right, so next up, I've got Myth Smith's Incredible Storybook, and this is by Michael Garland. And this one, there we go, not as much reflection when I hold it that way, is all about um, the second grade class with the teacher of Miss Smith, and she's got a magical storybook. And that storybook, when she reads out of it, uh, it makes the characters in the stories come to life. And then whenever that happens, they come out into the classroom and interact with the kids but then find out what happens when one of the kids gets a hold of the storybook themselves. It's got a really cool illustration in it. It's got some of your favorite classic storybook characters in it. A lot of ones I'm sure you, that you would recognize. It is really fun. Also a lot of just really fun details. There's a lot of uh, details all in it. Also, I think that the teacher looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of some of the old school cool teachers like Mrs. Frizzle. Miss Frizzle? Yeah. And she's even got a the clash button right there. <laughs> old school band there. All right. So this last one I've got here is a gold star for Zog. And this one is also a series. There's another one we've got called um, Zog and the Flying Doctors. This one is by Julia Donaldson and Axel uh, Scheffler. All right, so Zog is a dragon and he is a student in the uh, Madame Dragon School. So what do you think you learn in Madame Dragon School? Well, how to be a good dragon, of course. And so uh, Zog is an eager student wanting to learn in this. It is a really fun book, great uh, illustrations in it, great storytelling. It's just a lot of fun. So highly recommend that one too. All right. So now I think that will bring us past all of my book ideas for you this time. So magical. So I think magic is a lot of fun. It's important to see the magic in everyday life. I know that if you watch my other videos, you know that I am all about science, but I think part of the magic of life isn't believing in things that aren't there, but it's being able to see the possibilities of things that are. All right, so it's always good to see the wonder around you, I say. I'm gonna grab a drink and then I've got a story to read to you. All right, so. This one is a book that I printed off here because I found it on a site that lets you print these books for free. So I want to let you know, now kids you might not understand what this is, and some of the adults you might not even know what this is, but this is under a Creative Commons license. So I haven't been able to read some of the books that I'd like to on these videos because I'm recording them and putting them online. Uh, but this one, they let me do it. So uh, this one, uh, they specifically said that I am free to share this as long as I say uh, who did this. So I would have been telling you anyway who this book is by, but uh, specifically I need to give a special shout out to Anika Brandau 
Um, but also there is Sam Wilson and Wilma Cumbrink. And the book is You, Yes, You. All right, so I know that was a little technical, but I think it's nice to put in those details. All right, so I just printed these off in pages and I'll just hold up the pages. So You, Yes, You. I'm gonna adjust a little bit so I can do this a little bit better. Are you ready? Okay. Hi, I'm a warrior and I'm fighting a monster and I need you to help me. Yes, you, come with me. Are you ready? You wanna, you wanna fight a monster? Okay, I think we can do it. Yeah, let's go. All right. You see those ninja monkeys up there? I need you to shake this book so they fall out of the trees. Are you ready? Let's do it together, okay? I think you can, you don't need to shake your computer, but you can pretend to shake it, okay? Let's do it. Shake, 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 shake. All right. I think they fell out of the tree. I think we got them. But what's happening now? Oh no, bats. I need you to blow them away. All right, let's do it together. Are you ready? One. Two, three, <laughs> blow. Okay, I think we got rid of them. Hmm. Yep, okay. That, woo, <laughs> flying everywhere here. That got rid of them. This is the door to the monster's cave. Let's knock to open it. Are you ready? Let's do it together. You can knock on your screen just lightly if you want to. All right, so knock, knock, knock. I think the monster will let us in. Let's find out what happens. All right, so a spiky pit. So now we need to turn the book upside down so that I can walk across the roof. All right, so we're gonna help her to walk across the roof. Let's go, so whoop. All right, thank you. Now turn the book it the right way around so I can get back down again. All right, let's do that. Oh, I think we got it. All right, so now we're gonna keep going on this adventure here. So, hyenas are chasing me. We need to go faster. Quick, skip ahead two pages. Don't look at the next page. Just jump ahead. Okay, so I've got this next page here. I'll show you that it's behind here, but we're not gonna look at it. We're just gonna skip it, okay? Phew, that was close. The hyenas almost got me. The monster is just past this Yeti. Ooh, do you see the Yeti right there? Do you think it looks like a scary Yeti or a silly Yeti? I think it looks kind of like a fun Yeti. Tickle the Yeti to distract him so I can sneak past. Okay, are you ready? Let's do that together. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay, I think it worked. Oh, but now who are we gonna see here? It's the monster. We got to fight it. Show it that we're not scared. Say, you're a smelly monster. Say it out loud, say it now. All right, so we're gonna say it together. Let's count it off. So one, two, three, and then we'll say it. One, two, three. You're a smelly monster. Mm. You think that gets the monster away? Let's see. Do you see the monster there, by the way? I feel like this would've worked well for the last one too, because the last theme was monsters, but. <laughs> All right. So now we've got, it didn't work. Oh, I thought we did a good job on it. I need you to make your scariest face to chase it away. All right, so we're gonna make a scary face. You ready? One, two, three. I don't think my face was that scary. Was yours scary? I bet you made a really scary face. All right. We did it. We scared it away. High five. Okay, do a high five. 
I'll high five and then you can high five me. You ready? And high five. All right, that was fun. Let's go back to the start and do it all over again. So if you want, you can definitely do that. You could even rewind the video. But I wanted to show you there are a couple other fun pages here. <laughs> Almost to the back cover. <laughs> and then if you've ever noticed that there's just some blank pages in the back of the book, we've got, what are these pages for anyway? That is a really great question. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got this from freekidsbooks.org and I would say when I went to that website, it went very slowly, but if you're willing to be patient, there's lots of good stuff on there. And this one is actually specifically from a neat company called BookDash. Um, so they basically uh, get people to volunteer uh, to write and illustrate children's books and then they make them free to print out so that they can get them to as many people as possible. It's a really cool program. All right, so that was my story for today. Now I think we can finish it up with a craft and a magical craft at that. So you're going to need a few things to get this started. And I left one of my things over here. All right, so what you're going to need is some white paper. You're going to need a white crayon. And you're going to need some watercolors. So I've got my set right here. You can tell it's definitely gotten some use out of it. And then I'm also going to need a bowl to fill with water for my watercolors. Always important to make sure you get enough water, I say. All right, so this is a magic craft because it's gonna look like we're drawing with nothing. So you might not have drawn with a white crayon on white paper before because you know that's not gonna show up as anything much, but So do you like this? Wow, what an amazing picture. Doesn't that look great? What a great craft for today. I think we got it. Good job, everyone. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm just being silly here. That's not the end of the craft. So I actually just wrote something on this piece of paper, but because I wrote in white on white, that's not going to show up as much of anything. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit here too. Boop, there we go. So this is the reason why we've got the watercolors on here now too. So get your paintbrush ready. And then you can see right now this doesn't look like much of anything, but let's do purple. I think that's a good color to start out with. Get it on my brush here. And then Oh, I need more paint than that. <laughs> there we go. Didn't get quite enough water on it. So then you're going to write or draw whatever you want on your piece of paper, but in the white crayon. So keep in mind, it's going to be a little bit hard to see what it is. And then you're going to get your paintbrush and you want to press hard enough. The harder you press on this, the thicker it'll be and that'll be better. So then you're going to take your paintbrush get some watercolors on it, and then start tracing over the top of this. So I think if I were to do this again, I would press down a little bit harder. Need more water on there too. Oh, that's an odd shade of green. <laughs> So you can see, I wrote magic. 
All right, I'm going to do that again. I brought another piece of paper, so let me try that again with. So I drew a picture right there in the corner and let's go orange this time. So you can see right there now. You can see right here. I made a little smiley face. All right, so this is your magic craft. So if you've got a white crayon and some white paper, you can make an invisible drawing. And if you wanna reveal what the secret is, all you need is some watercolors and then go over the top of it. So get as creative as you want to. Now, if you're wanting to know why this worked, I will give you a really fancy word for it. And then I'll tell you what that actually means. So the really fancy word is hydrophobic. And that is what these crayons are. So hydro means water and phobic means scared. So these crayons are scared of water. No, I know that sounds a little silly and it kind of is, but basically when I draw with these crayons, they stick to the paper, but water won't stick to those crayons. So because I'm using watercolors, they uh, don't want to stick to what the crayon is touching and they try to go to the side. So I know that's a little bit complicated, but just for anybody who is interested in that, then I thought that was neat. So there, you can see it's drawn there. And it's a great way actually to uh, get something to be painted all except for the areas that you don't want like that. So it's a really fun way to uh, paint, I think. So, all right, that is all that I've got for you this time. Thank you so much for joining us on this magical story time. So, my name is Mr. Zach. This is Hudson Public Library's Preschool Story Time, and thank you so much for joining me. Bye.